Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. So, um, this is weird, this is hard actually. Um, I didn't, I've been thinking about doing a video about mental health for a really, really long time and I've been very open with it on my blog and my experiences, but it just feels like being in front of a camera is so different. Um, and I suddenly, like, I sat down in front of the camera and suddenly like I was all curled into myself, knees up to my chest, like playing with fingers and nails and stuff. So um, forgive me if I'm a bit umming and ahhing and stuff like that because this isn't the most easy video I've ever filmed and um, yeah, <laughs> that's that. So I wanted to film this video because like I say, I've been very open on my blog about my um, past issues with eating disorders, depression and anxiety and I will link to those blog posts below should you wish to read about my experiences in more detail. I just wanted to do a video because I wanted to let you know, I guess, to talk about where I'm at now and to talk about the importance of mental health, especially in this this modern world that we're in where social media is <laughs> such a huge presence in our lives and don't get me wrong, I love it and it's it's my job and it is amazing but it has also made life very hard for people as well and I think that that's not something that we can just ignore. So of course there are many, many different forms of mental health issues and illnesses. So I can obviously only talk about my own experience. I am not a doctor by any means. I'm not a therapist. I just know what I've been through and where I'm at now. I started out with eating disorders, um, bulimia mainly, when I was around, I think, 15. Um, and I hid that mainly from many people, when I was 15, I'm 29 now, so when I was 15, social media wasn't a thing, there weren't people out there, um, gosh, don't cry, <laughs> there weren't people out there that you really felt that you could talk to, you know, I was, I was unhappy and I didn't really know who to turn to, so I didn't turn to anyone, I just thought, well, I'm not happy with how I look and therefore I need to do something about it and I and I did. Um, and yeah, I, I feel it's, it's funny thinking back to that girl who was in that place for such a long time because I don't, I don't feel that I am her anymore. Like I have a deeply rooted connection to her. I feel that I want to like love her and nurture her and you know, the young me and, and just make sure I'm looking after myself. But these are all things that I've had to work on for, you know, like I say, like this happened when I was 15, I'm nearly like, nearly 30. So I've come a long way since then and it hasn't been an easy, a, an easy ride. You know, I still suffer with anxiety every now and again. It goes up, it goes down. And one of the really important things I wanted to talk to you all about is that like, I am in therapy and I have, I am not ashamed to admit that. I have a therapist um, who at the moment I'm working with each week and the biggest thing that I have learned is that be, having a therapist and needing to talk to someone doesn't necessarily mean that you're not happy. It just means that maybe you're curious about who you were, why you why you are the way you are and things like that and I think that that's what I'm discovering at the moment, you know, like I am still the very positive person that's lardy daring around and I am still that person, that is me, but at the same time I'm, there are parts of me that I'm like, okay, I, I want to know more about that side of myself and I want to learn about why I am the way I am and, you know, I'm by no means perfect, I mean there's no such thing as being perfect um, but you know these are all the things that I'm working on at the moment with my therapist and I think it's important to know that you can be both you do, it's not a form of like failure or anything if you if you go to talk to someone you know I I journal I I chat to my therapist I chat to my partner Rob and it's just it's I think social media has this way of obviously detailing this glorious life of travel, fitness, yoga and smoothie bowls um, and don't get me wrong they're a big part of my life but at the same time I'm still human and I want everyone, I want you guys to know that, I want you to know who, who, it, re, who it is, who I am um, behind the camera lens. So 
gone off on a tangent because I knew I would in this video. Um, it's 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 a really tough situation, tough topic to talk about, and I think it always will be. And if I were able to sit here and say to you, oh yeah, mental health, something I struggled with in the past, but I'm totally okay now, that would be a lie. Um, I'm not, you know, are we ever totally okay? We all have down days, we all have ups and downs, and like we just have to accept that that is okay, um, and that we will come out the other side, but we do need support from people, and I think that's something that I have, it's taken me a very, very long time to come to realize you know when i was that young girl i didn't tell anyone i was like even thinking back to who i was oh my gosh sorry even thinking back to like not telling anyone and just being in my room and crying and i just think that poor young girl who was just so lonely and had no i did and i had people around that was the thing i just kind of was too scared to talk to someone about it whereas now we have not only you know hopefully family and friends around but also there are so many services out there available um that you can pick up the phone and it's actually quite fitting that i film this video today because the london marathon was only yesterday so i apologize if you're getting this video a week later but anyway it's the London Marathon's main sponsor was Heads Together and I don't know if you've heard of them but they are the charity that um, Prince William and Kate and Harry are um, a massive massive part of I think it actually is their charity um, and it's all it's a massive mental health campaign and then there are other charities like MQ Health who are more of the research side of it who are looking really really in depth into symptoms and things at the moment it takes up to 10 years to diagnose someone with a mental mental health illness which is crazy because you think that that person's suffering for all those 10 years um and it's not we want to move away from just being seen by um by someone and being told to take some medication like there are other ways around it I think that's a really important thing. Um, you know, there's incredible books at the moment, like um, Jodie Shield has just done her Life Tonic book. You know, there are so many resources out there to us, um, and I will link to all of these below, and they are just ways in which that you can start to maybe talk to someone, read a little bit, maybe just see if these are issues that you're struggling with, um, and how you can go about them, and how you can maybe start to feel a little bit lighter and a little bit more lifted from feeling like you've got the support around you. So I did have a whole structure <laughs> planned out for this video, the things I wanted to talk to you about, but I feel like I've gone from one thing to the other um, and possibly not even touched upon all the things that I wanted to, but um, that just shows the rawness of the emotion because it's, it's a, yeah, it's a tough thing to talk about, I think. Um, but this isn't this isn't a video about oh my gosh I'm so sad like I like I say like I'm I'm actually in a really good place like I'm super super happy and I have wonderful people around me and I ha have a job that I love but it's knowing that it's great to have those things but also knowing that it's also okay to still need a bit of support from someone and um, still need to maybe ask questions about yourself. Um, that's the main thing that I want to get across is that mental health comes in so many shapes and sizes and you don't, you, you don't need to be you know having duvet days and be depressed and constantly crying to just need help like you could be just somebody that struggles with a little bit of anxiety and it might really really help you to get help um anyway i'm going to stop talking now because i kind of feel like this video <laughs> is going round in circles and maybe i'm not getting anywhere but hopefully if there's just anything that I've said that has, you know, hit home for you or you feel that even by knowing that there's other people out there um, that go through the same issues as you and that are seeking help, then maybe you can too. Um, you know, we are... The, the amazing thing about social media is that there is this community of people out there. You only have to search a hashtag to find other people who are in a, the same situation as you and who are willing to talk about it. 
Um, so just know that there are many, many, many people out there going through the same as you, and that it's not, a, it's, you know, it's not a bad thing, but it is, it is a journey, and it's something that you will get through, um, and you just need to open your mind to the possibility of seeking help and seeking support. So like I say, I will put all the links below to MQ Health, who I will hopefully be doing some more work with this year around their mental health campaigns. Also Heads Together, who are doing incredible stuff. Um, Mind as well, um, Beat were one that kind of came to the um, eating disorder kind of forefront but just a little bit too late for me, or at least I didn't know about them. They've been going for a very long time as a charity, but I just wasn't in a place um, of going online and, and looking for these things. So, but there's so many resources available to us now, and it's really important that we, that we use them because that's what they're there for. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if it's been a little drab, <laughs> a little bit sad and a bit all over the show, um, but yeah. I am sending you much love and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.